When you think of all that's good, give thanks to God. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Ann Cetus. Ann writes, Wanting to mature in her spiritual life and become more thankful, Sue started what she called a thanks living jar. Each evening she wrote on a small piece of paper one thing she thanked God for and dropped it in the jar. Some days she had many praises. Other difficult days she struggled to find one. At the end of the year she emptied her jar and read through all the notes. She found herself thanking God again for everything he had done. He had given simple things, like a beautiful sunset or a cool evening for a walk in the park. And other times he had provided grace to handle a difficult situation or had answered a prayer. Anne continues, Sue's discovery reminded me of what the psalmist David says he experienced. God refreshed him with green pastures and quiet waters. He gave him guidance, protection, and comfort. David concluded, Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. I'm going to make a thanks living jar this year. Maybe you'd like to as well. I think we'll see we have many reasons to thank God, including his gifts of friends and family, and his provisions for our physical, spiritual, and emotional needs. We'll see that the goodness and love of God follows us all the days of our lives. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23 is today's scripture reading. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you bless us in more ways than we can count. Thank you for your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.